Hello friends, how are you today? I woke up feeling joy in my heart today and I thought I'd turn on the recorder and share my joy with you. Some communications I had recently got me thinking about what's important about when we look at our world and think about how we want things to be. What's, what's the meaning in that? What's, what's important? You know, I, um, I made this video on the Christmas solstice energies it's two videos back in my playlist. And I was thinking so much about how the solstice energies were like a huge fireworks display. The sun emitting solar flares, the, um, the geomagnetics in the atmosphere, the Schumann resonance, you know, with all this expanded white resonance showing, making amazing patterns and lighting up our spiritual connection in the high hertz of the Schumann resonance with the gamma brain waves lighting up, <laughs> connecting us with the spiritual. And then I was thinking about how there's three full days, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. <clears throat> and then we have Christmas, the day that we celebrate the Christ light taking form in a human body. And the beauty of this and the importance, <clears throat> it's so meaningful. You know, 2,000 years ago, the Christ light took form in human body and it changed the world. We have no idea what societies were like before that, but what the stories tell us and the stories of behavior in the Bible is that it was not very pretty. <laughs> I think that now that the consciousness of so many people is expanding our hearts are expanding, our awareness is expanding, the information that we have is, if one wants to search and look, it's almost infinite compared to what one human can absorb. And so when a person has a commitment to figuring out something or research something, the answers are at their fingertips, if they're willing to look. You know, <clears throat> when I think about, when I think about change, I think that, well, what I've come to is that the most important thing I can do is to do my best to bring that Christ light into my own life, in how I interact with people and how I interact with my own self first, actually. It's that Christ light, and when I say Christ light, to me the definition of the Christ is that one-to-one -one connection that God can have with us down to the cells of your body. And if the light of Christ fills you at a cellular level. You know you are protected. In these times of uncertainty when fear knocks at the door, remember that the light of God is still here creating miracles if you wish to open to that possibility within you. <laughs> for yourself and your life. So they say that change begins within, but what does that mean? 
it's interesting because in the last few days I've talked with some people and they mentioned talking back to me about my beliefs and in the moment I let it go but I feel in a way that I don't have beliefs anymore if I live it if I can feel a living flame of my own soul in my body and I live what that guides me to do then then one can be a living example of what that energy is <laughs> and some days that is just sharing love joy hope and encouragement and some days it's setting boundaries some days it's disappearing because the activities, situations, or people don't honor that light. And to honor one's own self, you shine it within for you. And maybe not for anyone else in that moment. So on Christmas Eve here, as we approach Christmas Day, I wanted to wish you a very happy day. No matter who you are, where you are, and how you practice your religion, to me, or if you even have one, <laughs> to me, the light within and the Christus light of the consciousness of the Creator itself is what is revealed within us in these dramatic special moments. <laughs>